a bed bug infestation as a, has a group of Jacksonville firefighters having to move out, work at a different station until those bugs are gone. They were found at Fire Station 55. It's the one on Seminole Road in Atlantic Beach. For the next couple of days, they'll be working from Fire Station 58 off Hodges at Atlantic. So it's about four miles away. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joining us live from that station this morning. So Ashley, four miles distance, is that going to impact their response time? Well, Melanie, that was a question we had for a JFRD spokesperson, and he says people can rest assured. He says this will not impact response times, but we're here in front of Fire Station 55. You know, you can see that sign right there. It says ring bell for fire department personnel. No one is here. Also, look in the garage. We typically expect to see at least one fire truck, but they're not here. It's going to be like that for the next day or so. Take a look at this video right here, though. You know, clearing out these bed bugs, this will be a process because they're cleaning bed linens and anything that could be contaminated. So that could also include furniture. They're also asking anyone who has worked at Fire Station 55 in the last week to wash all uniforms and bed linens and to dry them on high heat for 45 minutes or longer. So our GPS shows the stations are actually about eight minutes or less apart. So we spoke to people who live in the area serviced by Station 55 who say, frankly, they're not concerned about the response time. They also approve of the way the firefighters have handled the situation. Here Here's what one woman told us. Uh, I think that's awesome. I mean, the fact that they're able to still respond and help people, even though they're not going to be as close as they should be. And this is a, a situation we are monitoring. We'll keep you updated on when Fire Station 55 does reopen. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station.